So I was standing at an immigration kiosk in the immigration office of a country that I wanted to stay in. I had arrived about 10 days earlier. It was going to be a short visit, but I had fallen in love with the city. It was springtime, it was beautiful, and I wanted to extend my stay, but I needed a way to fund myself while I was there, thus the work visa. So I had gotten the work visa, I had questions about it, and I was about to get help from this immigration officer to fill out the paperwork. I was standing there at the kiosk, and the very lovely, nice woman, she was welcoming, she was helpful. We were working through the form together. And as I was answering questions and she was helping me fill it in and she's you know, writing in, the, in some of the blanks, she just kept looking up at me. Every few minutes, she would kind of look up and just tilt her head a little bit and kind of look at me sort of quizzically and then go back to working on the form and we'd talk more and then she'd kind of stop and she'd look up again and kind of look at me and tilt her head. And after about 10 minutes, she finally said to me, you know, I, I can't get over this feeling that we've met somewhere before. Like somehow, I, I feel like I know you. And I said to her, well, I, I don't know how that would be. I'm actually from the US. I've never been in this country before. So it seems very unlikely that we would somehow know each other. And, and so she left it at that and we kept filling out the paperwork. And then uh, another five minutes went by, a few more glances up in my direction, still with the same quizzical look. And I watched her pen as she was writing something in, her head was down, she was looking at the paper, and her hand slowly came to a stop. And then I saw her brows furrow, and she slowly turned her eyes up to look at me. But this time the warmth had gone out of her face, and she was studying me. And then she slowly set the pen down, and she stood up and her arms dropped to her side. And looking at me, she said, I just saw you two days ago. You were doing a street juggling performance at the open air market. You chose my son out of the crowd and you pulled him up on stage it was one of the most wonderful experiences he'd ever had. But you were working illegally. And that was true. When I got to the country, as I often did in my travels, I would street perform as a way to make money under the table so I could fund my trip and I had done several shows at an open air market in this city. And it just so happened that this woman had arrived and her son was someone I included in my performance. And two days later, I walked into this immigration office and to fill out a form to stay and work legally and wound up in front of this woman. And now her expression was completely blank as she was faced with the dilemma of what to do with someone who had broken the law in her country and was now requesting to be endorsed by the government to stay when she knows I had already broken the law, but at the same time had brought tremendous joy to her kid. She turned around, she walked away from the kiosk back through the door to the back offices, which were partitioned off by, partitioned off by glass. And I watched her walk back to her desk that was separated from the public area. I could see her through the glass. She walked back to her desk, she sat down, and she leaned forward on her desk and she put her head in her hands. 
and she stayed there for about 10 minutes while I stood at that kiosk counter, my arms on the cold marble slab of the counter in an air-conditioned office, sweating profusely, not because I was cold, but because I was terrified of what was going to happen next. I didn't know if she was going to have me put in handcuffs, led off to jail, or just deported from the country. I had no idea what was coming next, but I was terrified and anxious and nervous and sweating. And after about 10 minutes, she finally got up from that desk and she slowly walked back through the door and up to the kiosk, looking at me and all that warmth, all that welcoming energy was nowhere to be found in her. She took the document, which we had almost completed, she pulled it in front of her. She signed it with her signature. She put a date on it. And looking at me in the eyes, she took a rubber stamp and stamped approved on the document, slid it across the counter to me and said, we never met. And all I can tell you is that in that moment, watching this woman put the spirit of the law above the letter of the law and make an executive decision that came from the authority of her human spirit instead of her training and her legal duty to put her humanity before and above all of that and approve that document and hand it to me made me want to stay in that country more than ever.